Hello everybody, my name is Grim, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to show you this simple click GUI that gives you cash every time you click it. Let's get right into it. Alright, so before we actually get started, make sure that you watch my previous video where I showed you how to make a leader stat GUI that saves with uh, leader stat values. So make sure that you watch that video that you know how to make the leader stats in the leader stat GUI. And if you've already done that, then we can get started. So, first thing we're going to do, go to start GUI. Add in a new GUI, we can just name this one, click. And now, click a plus, and you're going to add in a text button. Make sure it's text button and not text label, because there's a different text button, it can be click, text label can't. So text button. And um, if you want to, you can also do, you can do an image button and make an image of a coin, but I'm not going to do that for now, I'm just going to do this, I'm just going to do this coin. Rename that to coin. And now I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to go to the size. I'm going to make it uh, about 100 on each side. That looks good. Put that about in the middle. And then I'm going to click the plus, And I'm going to add in a UI corner. And I'm just going to set this to like 50. And we can do the less. We can do like 40. No, 50 is good. No, it's just 60. And basically that will make it rounded. So it's just like a, like a coin. And then I'm going to make it, make the color of it yellow. And I'm going to go down to the text. I'm just going to change this to a comic. Add rich text, text scaled. And just do a dollar sign. Just like that. That way every time you click it, um, when you uh, hover your mouse over, you can see it turns gray. And you can click. But it doesn't do anything yet, so we're going to add a script in. So click the coin, click the plus, add in a local script. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do script.parent.mouse button one click, connect a function, and go to the next line, and just put, actually, what we need to do first is we need to go to, okay, storage, click the plus, and add in a remote event. Basically what we're going to do is, because you can't change coin values from a logo script, every time we click the, uh, click the button, click the coin, it's going to fire a remote event which will give the player coins. So go back into the script. Let's actually go above this and do local active equals false. And I, let's do true. And then do if active equals true, then active equals false. Make sure to put two space or two uh, equals right here, otherwise it won't work. And then we can do wait. Now let's first of all need to do um, game dot replicated storage dot Let's rename the remote event. Let's do here to let's do rename this to give cash dot give cash now, and then do fire server. And basically, every time you click this, if the button is activated, then it'll uh, make it not activate anymore. It'll give the player cash by uh, it'll send this function to give the player cash, which we'll uh, code later. And now we're gonna do wait. Let's just do wait point two. And then do active equals true. Basically, what this will do is this will make it so um, the player can't use an auto clicker to get like infinite cash. Basically, what it'll do is um, it'll make it so they have to wait two point two seconds before they click again, so they can't just like use an auto clicker to click infinitely times. And now, if we hit play, now if we load in, we can see if you click this, our cash doesn't change. And you're like, why does that happen? That's because we actually have to code it so the cache can change. So, if we go back in, go into server script service, let's make a new script. Just rename this one to click script. And now in this one, just do game.replicate storage dot give cache dot on server event and then connect function player. So this will get um, this will connect a function every time this um, event fires, and it'll connect it to the player, so the player that fires it. And now we can do local stat equals player dot leader stats stats dot coins dot value. No, not not the value, just do dot coins. And you can set this to whatever you have. If you have it as cash, if you have it as like clicks, you can put this as whatever you want. Um, 
make sure it's the same as the one that we have in the in the leader stat script make sure it's this when it coins on a name make sure it's um the same as that one otherwise it won't work and now do just do stat dot value plus equals one so this will um add one to the value so if we exit out of these really quick and hit play Now that we're loaded in, now look at my coins up there. If I click on this one, click, every time I click it, you can see it changes my coins by one. And you have to wait 0.2 seconds every time you click, so if I click as fast as I can, um, it has to wait 0.2 seconds, so you can't use an auto clicker to hack it. And this GUI also updates every time you uh, click this. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is a simple tutorial. I'll be making more in this series on how to do leader stats. And yeah, see ya.